Hi everyone, how's it going? I haven't done a Let's Play in god a long time and this is a game I've been actually been playing a fair amount recently and I've gotten half good at it. Um, I originally started playing this, uh, Batman, it's, and it's a game made by, well it's released by Atari, it came out in I believe 1990? Um, yeah it's an interesting arcade game, I originally started playing it because I thought I'd try to get a world record on there. Um, on natural um, arcade hardware, the world record on one credit for three lives is something like about 130,000. For um, two credits, where you get, I think it's like what seven li seven lives. You, it was it's like about 200,000. On main, I know for one credit on three lives, it's about 350,000. Now my best score, and I had to, I ended up using five continues, was about four hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, and that was me avoiding all the power ups because the way the score system works is, if you don't have a power up in use, or you you get three times the score. So if you're playing this game with the sole goal of getting the biggest score, you want to avoid all the power ups possible. So I know full well that if you can get through this game on one credit and you avoid the power-ups you can get close to you can get at least well over over 400,000 now I don't think I'm gonna get the record on this game purely because the way stage 3 is designed it is an absolute it's an absolute mess it is I mean the way the rest of this game is designed you have the option there is a pattern so you can anticipate things. There's also um, multiple planes so that you can get out of the ways of enemies and then get the jump on them. And you can kind of build up a kind of a rhythm and anticipate. And you can't do that on the third level. The third level is bloody horrible. This is you can't avoid getting hit. I mean, pure. I mean, then then again, this game is an arcade game. It's designed to do one thing, and that is suck up all your cores. But I think it's an it's an all right game, considering you know it's an arcade game designed to you know take all your money, you know, and judged on that basis, it's an okay game. So let's have a go. Let's see how far I get on one credit. And if I die, boom, the video's over. So let's have some of my extreme Tesco cherry cola for for luck. All right. Let's go. Okay. Now, I can get past the first level, usually without losing a life, which I've just done. Definitely out of character for me. Yeah, boom! Yeah! See you like that. There is a pattern in this game, but some bits are random, like this section. You can go past it sometimes, there's maybe like one or two men, and then, and then you can go past and then this time, for example, there's like a, a load of them. Boom! Yeah! So I have to take a few hits. I'm Batman. Get another extra life. That's how it's done, and that's a pretty good score for level one. Napier's cleaning out access right. Yeah. Good thing is there's quite a few lives at the beginning of this level. Well, okay. up here there's a life. Boom! Ah! 
I want to at least get to the third level. That is my goal. Oh, crap. Uh, I know at least a couple more lives. Alright, I can cross now. I use that. I'm not going for the world's greatest high score, so I'll take whatever help I can get. Right, there's one up there. Alright, he's going to shoot so I can dodge him like that. I've got four lives, I reckon I should be at least get on to the next level. Uh, jump on him, literally. Walk on here. Oh, I hate this bit. Avoid the acid drops. I can get it now. Nicely done. Right. If I go right over here. It's a little trick to this. There you go. Now this is where it goes to shit. Six thousand, which I think is pretty respect respectable for this part up to this point in the game. Gore is poo. <laughs> well, that's Batman for the arcade. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, hey, 
let me know what scores you can get. It'd be interesting. So, thank you for watching.